hi you guys welcome back to my channel coming to you guys bedheaded okay and i don't care either but um yeah um my hair is in need of help obviously i decided to go ahead and plan my ayurveda um hair concoctions and stuff that i'm going to be doing and i'm going to start doing because I want to see more length in my natural hair. Yes, I'm aiming for healthy too. The Ayurveda, Lord Jesus, be with me when <laughs> I try to pronounce this word. Every My pronunciation with this word is just, I just sound retarded when I say it. This Ayurveda challenge, um, I'm expecting to see some growth within the next day. No, I'm kidding. But um, I do, I would like to see some growth. I want to see like a big difference in my hair like that's my goal right now i had stuff for over six months just sitting going to waste well it's definitely not going to waste because that's that's a lot of money but anyway it's just been sitting and it needs to be utilized okay but um so it's pretty much today I'm just going to mix all the concoctions that last me for about a month because I'm lazy and I know I ain't going to be mixing nothing up every day and I have a life, okay? I have too much going on in life right now for me to be mixing anything up even a week in advance. I need it to last at so least a month. This first video starting my Ayurveda challenge, I'm going to start off with and infuse like a herbal infused bentonite clay mask and all of these videos will be inspired by curly proverbs that's the youtube channel name i've been watching her for a while been wanting to follow it for a while i'm also gonna start off with the length a length check i am gonna pull from my widow's peak top of my ear well i got titty ear y'all and from the napes from the nap the napes is it called napes i don't know let's get right into the video and I'll, let me stop talking and give y'all what y'all came here for okay you guys so we're starting off with hot infused water i infused this water with chamomile green tea and black tea and then this is the bentonite clay i'm going to be using i ordered it off amazon a while back like a while back so you're going to need a bowl any size you prefer but um, I know I ain't go need that much, so I just use this little bowl. And I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of bentonite clay. And after that, I'm going to go in with four tablespoons of the hot infused water. Don't use the metal because it takes all, all the good properties that's in the clay, so don't use metal at all. That's why I'm using plastic in a, like a wooden stir stick thingy. You're gonna see me keep adding water with the tablespoon measurer thingy. I was doing that so I could get like a good precise measurement for you guys to follow out. So it could be like a creamy, nice, smooth consistency. And I heard hot water will help um, with a nice, smooth consistency, but it didn't help me at all, okay? I don't know if y'all sit up there and stir it forever, but I'm not about to do that. My patience was running low and I just gave up, okay? But y'all can see how long I did try to get a smooth consistency and it was just not budging at all. So I just said whatever. Okay, you guys, so make sure you start off on detangled hair because 
do not be tangling your hair with cleaning it. That's no today, but this sat overnight and it's 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 doable, but I don't see how people get those smooth consistencies and stuff. I don't know, it's I don't care either, but I'm gonna start applying this to each section of my head and go on from there. And my hair is pretty damp too, by the way. The only thing I used to detangle it was oil and water. Okay, you guys, so while I'm applying the the mask to my hair I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like an insight of each ingredient and the benefits of them and all that with my experience with them also okay so starting with bentonite clay bentonite clay is like a mixture of minerals that like helps clarify and detox your hair and your scalp it lifts up all like the nasty stuff and the buildup and stuff in your hair and with my experience, it like when I first used it, the very first time I used it, it gave me a great curl definition. But now it's like when I apply it to my hair, it's just like bone straight, as you can see in the video. I don't know if your hair has to be soaking wet or something in order to get that effect, but my hair was just barely damp, so that's why. Moving on to chamomile. Chamomile, um, it is said to be that chamomile could lighten your hair up over time if you use it consistently and it does add shine to your hair and it clears the dead the dead cells on your scalp also the black tea it helps with hair shed fall um i use that in one of my spray bottles like a tea mixture and black tea is included in that and from my experience it does help with um shedded hair with my experience with black tea it does help that also adds shine to your hair and it counteracts the chamomile and it helps darken your hair so um if you don't want your hair to get lighter over time just i would suggest just adding black tea in the routine too and it probably will balance that out it also encourages the hair growth because it slows down on the shedding of the hair. Green tea helps increase the circulation of your scalp and is also a natural conditioner. Y'all don't roast me because I know I need my ends trimmed and they're going to get trimmed, okay? So just leave it alone. So in the beginning, I said I didn't need that much, but in reality, I did because I was running out towards the end and I had to ration it out and I couldn't get heavy handed like I wanted to, like I usually do, because after I get done with all the sections, I go back and I coat like the outer edges, like of each part. using the whole container I could have used more for sure I could have used more for sure I could use more for sure to go back and touch it because after I'm done with each section I like to go back in and like get the middle and the edges and put a little bit more on those but I didn't make a lot so what you okay so this is immediately after i washed the clay out of my hair and my hair was pretty defined and to me it looked like it stretched out my hair a little bit longer or my hair just probably grew and i didn't really realize it yet but 
yeah um it my hair was pretty soft and moisturized it wasn't like super moisturizing but it was moisturized and that's it you guys you know but thank you guys for coming back to my channel don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below on what you guys think and if you guys tried bentonite clay what did it do for you guys or you know let me know in the comment section all right you guys see you in the next one